probably brings us to next week's program, the Lyric Symphony. Yeah. Now, what would you, how would you, well, what are, you, what, what are your advi pieces of advice for members of the public to get to know the piece, what to look for, um, what to search for in the piece, in the performance in particular? Well, um, I think you could uh, download it from iTunes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not a stockholder, so I don't know. Um, but I, I use it often. Which too. version? <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, I would have been smart if I had done that. But um, yeah. Um, so come a little early, get a program, or, or get into the hall early, read the program notes. Um, that helps. Um, try to maybe online read something about Semblinsky and get a little curious. And then when you sit down, have an open mind. And I think I would say that to all of you for everything that you ever come to. Uh, try not to have preconceived ideas, don't feel dumb. People so often say to me, but I don't understand and I feel dumb about it. Well, we do too, we don't know of something either sometimes, you know, we just play it and uh, it, it's very important, it's like eating something. If you knew how it was cooked, a whole lot of food you wouldn't want to eat, but you know, you taste it and um, yeah, so, and that's, that's with art too, you just have to look at it or listen to it and let it happen and, and uh, re repetition is important, I think. Uh, when I was 18, uh, 18 or 19, I, I, no, I must have been 17 because I was still in school. We had a youth concert and I went to the Concertgebouw Orchestra in Amsterdam, one of the world's great orchestras, which has a very great Mahler tradition, and they did Mahler one. And I had never heard a note of Mahler at that point. And, um, and I didn't, you know, quote, unquote, understand. I mean, but what I understood is that, it, that I had heard something remarkable, a remarkable piece. So I went out the next day, bought the LP, and played it, and played it, and played it, you know, and, and it became a part of my, uh, of my life, in, in a way. And um, that is how, how these things happen, I think. You get touched by it, and then it, your interest is piqued, and you, and you go a little further. And so, what, 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 in your opinion, what's tasty about the Lyric Symphony? Then a tremendous amount of colours. Um, yeah, he. he uh, at the, I think the texts of the of the poems are extraordinary. They're they're not all clear. They're sometimes it's a metaphor for something else. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the man voice in the first song, he says, I'm, I'm stuck, I, I would like to go in the world and, and discover things, but maybe he's just talking about his life. Maybe he's not, well, actually wants to get on a boat for five weeks and go somewhere or an airplane, but there were no airplanes when these were. So, um, you know, and, and maybe it is just trying that you, you get raised in a certain way and your parents tell you certain things, and um, at a certain moment you have to uh, go further. I think we all need to do another step, and we have to have our children do another step and, and get more curious. And, and I think that first song is about that. It's, it's about this man that cannot get over himself, and, and the last one is, is one of the most beautiful, uh, beautiful poems. And, they are very, very romantic in the sense that they are very personal, mm -hmm. and he writes beautiful music for it. Mm -hmm. But there is there is one where where the, the second, the first one that the woman sings, which is the second uh, song, mm -hmm. is is sort of a. She says, "Mother, um, the prince is coming by. Mm -hmm. How do well, I look? Is my hair?" That's fine? my favorite poem. Right? Yeah, that is that is very nice. And, uh, and the prince is coming, and I want to look very nice, and why do you look so strange at me, mother? Because mother thinks, of course, what are you doing? You know, the prince is not going to look at, at right. us. And so then she says, the prince has come, gone by, and I threw my uh, Rubin right. uh, uh, necklace, necklace, necklace yeah. at him. And of course, and he did not pick it up, and the horses and the carts, Trash it. Trash it, and there was a trace of red glass, and uh, yeah, the, and and which is you know could be a metaphor of something that we expect in in life and hope to happen, and it doesn't. 
and then uh, you know the great sadness at the at the end of it. Mm. So yeah, it's it's stunning. I think so. It's very important that you read the, read the poems and and that you come in that sense a little prepared. The way I came to that piece was, as you said, uh, quite subjective. Uh, I just I just listened to the Shai recording. Was it with Kasekabal with House of the Berlin Effect? With Kasekabal, of course, right? I found the music extremely sensuous and beautiful. Yes, it is. It was only later that I discovered that it was actually he was using Tagore's poetry. Uh, I don't think there's much of an oriental flavor in it, unlike Mahler's Das Lied, uh, yeah. to which it has been often compared. Yeah. Uh, Mahler, of course, uses down poetry uh, for whatever purposes. But in this case, I think Chemlinsky uses these carefully chosen seven poems to form some kind of allegory about uh, wanderlust, uh, wandering, right. uh, love, desire, and yearning, and eventually it's and lost freedom, yeah. And, and yeah. yeah. So a very sort of late romantic, you know, sort of in a Germanic way. Uh, now, yeah. of course, we're in this part of the world, we are now trying to relate to Tagore, after all, he's Asian, and the first Asian poet to receive the Nobel Prize yeah. in 1913, I think. So yes. when you conduct this piece or study this piece, uh, does Tagore ring a bell in your mind? Well, it, I, I didn't, when I started out, uh, when I did this piece first time, probably about 20 years ago, it didn't mean anything to me, no, the name, I, d I did not. And, but the poems immediately struck very much there. They are extremely beautiful and, and uh, yeah, romantic, as right. you say. Yeah.